Whoa, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to Geometry Dash. Now, there's a small twist today. I'm going to be trying out the Tiny Planet mod. This menu you see on the left-hand side of my screen right now is called Reshade. It's a graphics engine, so as you can see, I can turn on HDR, I can turn on a vignette, and the game looks a little bit different. But today, I want to try out something called Tiny Planet. Now, as you can see, the menu's a little bit cursed, but once you change the center to zero and the offset to zero, scale it all the way out, you can see that the game is now in a circle. Which is a little bit crazy, to say the least. <laughs> There's actual curves in Geometry Dash now. It's, it's incredible. It's also very disorientating because as you can see, my cube gets huge around the edges of the screen. It gets stretched on the outside and it gets shrunken on the inside, which makes it incredibly difficult to sight read certain things like triple spikes, especially when you're going so far up and down. Like, look at how my ship's changing right now. It's, it's wild. It's just so interesting to me, just going around in a circle like so. I mean, there's a dead space on the right hand side in the middle where the objects are transitioning on and off screen, but that's okay. I just want to try out a couple of levels with this. We'll check out some auto versions of some extreme demons and stuff later. The cool looking levels. But I want to see if I can beat a few main levels first. I mean, Stereo Madness is pretty simple. Not much to this one because you're very linear. And that is Stereo Madness. Very easy, one attempt. But the ending screen is so cool. Look at that. I mean, it's kind of skewed. Hold on, let me just change the Z rotation. You can change it at 270 degrees so everything's upright, but it just doesn't feel right being on the top left of the screen for some reason. I prefer on the zero rotation, so I'm gonna change back to that. I wanna try out Polar Geist as the next level. We can just skip over a couple like back on track. I just wanna see what the different mechanics are like, like orbs, the mirror portal that comes in Time Machine, stuff like that, because it's just gonna be wild. I'm very excited to see what the game modes like the wave are gonna present because they're all based on straight lines and this has no straight lines. <laughs> Everything is curved right now and it's scary. Okay, we're probably about to see what I mean with the stretching and shrinking thing as soon as we get to one of those big staircases. Yep, here we go. Why is it so small? Oh my god. I mean, this has a very low skill ceiling because it's pretty much memory based when you get to some of the harder levels since the jumps are so hard to actually distinguish from one another. Like you'll see when I play Jumper. I tried that out earlier. Boom, we did Polargeist. We get to see yet another spiral animation at the end. So cool. Right, let's move on to Jumper. You'll see exactly what I mean straight away. It's so hard to actually figure out where you're supposed to jump or not, especially when you're upside down. Like, look at this. This is nuts. How are you supposed to tell whether you're supposed to drop or not? This level fills me with fear, honestly. I don't know how long this is going to take to complete. This is a nice easy ship section, though. You can still straight fly if you just follow the curve of the background. Let's make a deal. I'm going to get the coin, and you're going to like the video. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Yes, let's go. I get a free like. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Let's get the second coin as well. Why not? Oh, yes, we got through. Okay, I don't know if when I actually complete it, I'll go for the three coins, but it's fun to try at least for now while I'm learning it. I'm actually kind of getting in the rhythm of it, you know? I don't know why. This is like unironically extremely fun. Okay, let's get the coin. Let's go. Three coin run. Oh god, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. This part looks so good with the spikes and the wheel in the middle, man. It's so nice looking. And then the exit is so smooth as well. This mod is so good looking. At least you have a nice looking experience while you're struggling to read everything. Triple spike! No! Okay, please get past. I haven't been here in so long. No, not again! That took me about 20 minutes to get back there. I'm not even getting the coins. Oh my god! Yes, let's go. I'm gonna upload that full completion to Woolsey Clips, my second channel. It'll be up three hours after this video was posted at 9 p.m. British time, same day. I'm moving on a time machine. I don't know how I'm gonna get myself into practice mode. Okay, you just click where the button would normally be, I see. I think Jumper is my skill cap for normal mode because the rest of them are kind of silent. I just wanna see what the mirror portal's like in this. Oh my God, that is so trippy. <laughs> Why is that so cool? Oh my god, my head is spinning. Yeah, jump is my skill cap. This is nuts. Oh! <laughs> Can I just get through this ship part once? For the love of god, it's so hard to perceive. No, I was so close. Yes, I got through. Okay, now it's time to die. <laughs> oh, it gets so big and small. That is 
this is impossible. This is just impossible. If you guys really want to see me get through some more levels with this in normal mode, just let me know, because I'm down to try, but this is just too crazy. I got the coin by accident. Okay, then. The spiral inwards is nuts. Okay. Yeah, this is just memory. <laughs> There's no skill involved in this mod at all. It's just memory of where to go. Jeez. Oh, oh, yes. Let's go. We did it in practice mode. I don't know why I'm celebrating. It's practice mode. And it took me how many attempts? 41. Okay. I want to go through cycles to see what the ball's like. And then go through blast processing to check out the wave and the UFO and stuff. Yo. <laughs> Mega ball. It's so ridiculous, man. What? Let me see what the wave is like. This is gonna be amazing. Oh God. <laughs> it's all curvy. Oh, the spam sections are cool though. Nice. This is somewhat bearable. I can actually do this. It's just so weird. What? Oh no. <laughs> You're kidding. We're back to the actual planet now. It doesn't feel like a planet most of the time. The UFO is just the UFO, isn't it? Like, there's nothing much else to it. I don't think Theory of Everything 2 is going to like me very much, but I'm going to try and do a practice run on it. Oh my god, that is insane. We made it to the ship at least. Yeah, this is just going to be absolutely silent. Hello, 200 attempt practice run. I actually did the ship. No way. <laughs> Yes, we're doing the UFO part. Oh, this is just going to be hell. Memory? That's evil. You can't even see the orb if you hit that one. You have to go all the way down. That's so evil. Oh, God. I'm going right up in my face. <laughs> it feels so far away from me when it's down there. Oh, okay. What did I just do? Oh, we did the memory ball. Let's go. This level looks sick in this mode. Wow. If you're somehow still watching the video, I appreciate you because I have no idea what's going on either. Can I one attempt this ship? That is the question. Hell yeah. The hardest part got even harder, but I still did it because I'm a legend. That was satisfying. Let's go. Oh, I died of them anyway. Okay. Boom. There it is. The slide at the end. Practice complete. 236 attempts, not too bad. I mean, those were just the rub top levels. Imagine community levels with Tiny Planet, like Toxin Lab 3. This is going to be absolutely nuts. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. Oh God. See, Zaro's gameplay goes so far up and down the screen that it shrinks in and out all of the time. Here we go, we're about to see the drop. Oh my God, that looks so good. <laughs> Oh, this is such a good idea. I mean, it's hardly a planet anymore, but... <laughs> Cold Sweat should be an interesting one to look at because there's a lot of flashes and moving effects and stuff. Oh, it's already getting in my head. I like that. I mean, this level is considered one of the craziest effect levels of all time, and it's a big extreme demon, so you know I had to include it in this video. I'm excited to see the next Q part. That's going to be nuts. Oh, it's stepping up. I like the direction this is taking. Oh my, here we go. The UFO section. Ooh, that's making an interesting pattern because of all the different structuring. You can see my background kind of pulling through there at the sides. And moving on to Sminx's wave. That transition was sick on its own, but my goodness, this is just something else. Look at the way the lines are swirling around. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> it's even more impossible than it normally is. That's... Ooh, that looks sick. It looks broken. <laughs> looks like a cracked screen or something. What a sick outro. Oh, the ending's tripping me out. Our stuff's moving around. <laughs> and what is that on the top right of my screen right now? Oh, God. Oh, hell yeah. I should really try and beat a demon with this mod. It would be so cool. The moving objects trip it out so much as well. This is sick. Oh, the outside border is so cool. Damn, the way it kind of peels out of there. Let's go. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, basically what I'm saying is this mod is absolutely nuts. I mean, part of this is Sapunja's amazing effect work anyway, but I've got an interesting idea. What if I play a level with a rotating planet with the planet mod? Okay, <laughs> it's not very circular, is it? <laughs> it shrinks a lot. This is so weird. I think that's enough of that for today. I really enjoyed looking into that. I hope you enjoyed it too. It's something completely different than normal. Let me know what you think. I might try it again with some more difficult levels. I don't know. But thank you for watching this Geometry Dash. Can you even call it Geometry Dash at this point? Tiny Planet video. Check the links in the description. I'll leave the download link for the mod. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.